Well, today I'm going to be looking at this Bible, which uh, is a really nice looking Bible. Thin line, large print, and uh, this is the box. This is a New American Standard Thin Line Bible large print. And um, this is one of the Bibles put out by Zondervan recently. So Zondervan is now um, putting out a new line of NASB Bibles. Take a look at the back of the box here. Um, so there's a little promotional about the Bible and uh, the general information features of the Bible. So uh, some really good features to this Bible. Um, it's really nice that Zondervan is is uh, producing these. We see here that this is retails for uh, $39.99. Uh, I think I got this. You can get this between $25, $30, right around $30 on CBD or Amazon. This is the burgundy bonded leather. There is the ISBN number if you'd like to look that up. That's a sample of the text there. And there's the logo for the NASB. This is the 1995 NASB, which I know makes a lot of people happy. So let's take a look at the Bible here and just look at the outside. Um, one thing I really like, this is uh, the burgundy bonded. I just think that they really uh, created a nice look that goes with the NASB. The NASB is a modern translation, and yet it's, it's more word-for-word, -word, studious, kind of classic, and I think this uh, Bible here just has a classic look. The spine looks really nice uh, with these uh, stamped ribs and uh, words on the side here in gold. So that looks really spiffy. It also has uh, two ribbons. One is uh, red and one is brown and they're single-sided satin. So the other side does not have a sheen, but the front side does. They're angle cut and I think for the size of the Bible they look really nice. Some nice uh, gold gilding on the side here. That looks really good. As far as the uh, leather, it is a bonded leather so nothing uh, amazing but even some of the genuine leathers that are out there are not all that amazing. Uh, so I think it's actually pretty good. You know just for something that looks good, is very simple, not expensive. Also take a look at the head and tail bands which uh, are two colored and look really nice. Getting to the inside here, uh, it's just a paste down paper uh, but it really has that that designed look that you see just like the box here. They've really gone with um, I don't know these these interesting lines for design and I think the overall look of this I would say it kinda has an early 1980s vibe to it. Um, but I, I like it. I think it really, for some reason, fits the NASB well. Um, I, I just think it looks good. Uh, this is the presentation page, which is also kind of the first cardstock page. Uh, so nice, really simple. There's a title page. If you'd like to look at the uh, copyright information and printing information, there it is. It is printed in China and was just printed uh, this year in 2020. There's the table of contents. Then we've got a foreword. Preface to the New American Standard Bible, principles of translation. Explanation of the general format. Abbreviations, and then we get into the Old Testament here. And the design really just has such a nice look to it with the lines and the uh, font there. First page of Genesis. Headings look really good with that design. Again, two lines and then the, that nice bold font in capital letters. There's the heading, uh, the creation. So you're going to get section headings. This is a verse-by-verse -verse double column format. So what's really good about that the NASB is a lot of times used by people that are uh, very studious and uh, a lot of times verse by verse teachers. So the formats that Zondervan has chosen are really good for this. You can also see the font there. It uh, just has a really nice look. It's ten and a half point font. It's line matched. The paper is very thin. Um, 
It also has poetic settings here, but even though the paper's thin, even in the poetic settings, because it's line matched, you can still see that just fine, and the show through is not uncomfortable. Uh, you can see some from the other side of the page, especially in poetry, but I think uh, it really looks good and is quite easy on the eyes. So when you're in prose sections, that gives you an example of what that looks like. Poetry, here's what poetry looks like in the Psalms. So again, there is some show through, but I find that with uh, that line matching and the, the paper quality, it's, it's good enough to where it's, it's not really hard to read. So I think that really for a $30 Bible or so, you're really getting a lot for your money. I think this is really good. So when we get to the New Testament, you have similar to the Old Testament, this title page. And then uh, the Gospel according to Matthew. So full title of the book. Again, there are section headings. There are the verse, verses. I like that the, the verse numbers um, are separated. I think for teaching and preaching, that's a really nice feature. Uh, and then the Old Testament quotes in the NASB are in all capitals. And I think you can see this font just really has a great look. That goes along with the NASB translation, in my opinion. I just think they really nailed the look of this Bible. Here's a red letter. It is a red letter edition. Um, and overall, I'd say it's pretty consistent from what I've seen. A um, little washed out looking in some places. Uh, but the red is actually decent. It's a little on the lighter side, I'll be honest. It's not a real dark red, but pretty common with what you'd see in the Nelson and Sondervan series of Bibles right now. So I mentioned the font a couple times, so let's look at uh, what it says about the font. The Bible was set in the Zondervan NASB typeface commissioned by Zondervan. So this was designed in Denmark by Klaus Krog and Heidi Rand Sorensen of 2K Denmark. The Typeface design takes inspiration from clear, distinct Aramaic limestone inscriptions of the Second Temple period. The design pays homage to the NASB's rich heritage of word-for-word -word translation and its faithfulness to the original biblical languages. The result is a distinctive Bible typeface that is uncompromisingly beautiful, clear, and readable at any size. So that kind of gives you a little bit of the background as to how they design this uh, typeface and again I think it looks really good it's uh, it's quite comfortable to read it's a thinner taller font I will put the dimensions up here for you so you can see but I can tell you that this is a thin Bible one of the reasons it's so thin is uh, there is not a lot in the back so there are some nice things here you have the miracles of Jesus the parables of Jesus perspectives from the Bible, prayers of the Bible, promises from the Bible. But then after that, you just have uh, the back here talking about the font and then that one last cardstock page and liner. So not much to this Bible other than the text. But I mean, what a great thing to have to be able to carry around very easily it's so thin you can just fit it so easily into a backpack, uh, hold it in the hand, and I find that it lays flat pretty nicely. It is Smythe sewn, so that helps. It also allows it to be more durable. Uh, so really, really well designed Bible, as a lot of these Bibles are. Um, I would say as far as comparing it to others quickly, like looking at a ESV large print thin line. Um, I'm noticing in the ESV thin lines that are out right now uh, with the large print edition uh, quite a bit of ghosting. Uh, these are also line matched so that helps and I will review this in, uh, in more depth coming up soon but I find that this one is a little better uh, this NASB as far as ghosting than the ESV large print thin lines but comparing it to the Holman New King James. I would say the Holman has less show through. But let's take a look here. On the other hand, the Holman uh, is not line matched, whereas the uh, Zondervan NASB is line matched. 
So that's kind of a kind of a wash. So I think this Bible, as you can see, is just a really good Bible for the money. Um, kind of a mid-range Bible. And uh, I would say if you really like the NASB 95 and you want to have something that is easy to carry, this is great for me to be able to use for studying, uh, for having on the shelf, uh, for carrying to a church if I want, especially if I'm going to be teaching out of the NASB, being in the verse-by-verse -verse format, pretty large print, I think it's a great all-round format. So, as you know, if you've watched my videos, I'm a big fan of Thinline Bibles. And I think this New American Standard Thinline by Zondervan that's come out pretty recently is uh, fantastic. Love the design of it. Love the overall layout. Thank you so much for watching this Bible review brought to you from a fresh perspective.